Uh, welcome to the second part of the Casa Gaspar drawing exercise. Uh, we have the full grid for the building. We're now going to start putting in some detail onto this grid. So I'm going to work in this top corner of the drawing and using your middle mouse button you can click and hold it to pan and then click in a couple of clicks to zoom in. So we'll start with the uh, the entrance to this driveway area where somebody would leave a car. So we're using going to use a combination of offsets, trims and fillets. Okay, I'm putting my caps lock on so that the words appear a bit bigger on the, the keyboard. So the command is offset, shortens the letter O and I'm going to do an offset distance of 900 and return. Then an offset, so I want to repeat offset, so all I need to do is press return twice and change the distance to 2700 and return. Pick the newest line, go down. Finish with offset, so I can press return to stop it. And then I want to trim out to create the opening there. So the command is TR and return. Capture these this area of blades. So use a crossing window for that. Then press return, pick all the knives you want, and then we we'll trim away to form the doorway. I'm going to zoom in a bit closer now. We have a, a gap to form between the parking area and the courtyard. So use offset again. The gap is 900. Then the wall thickness, 300, and then I need another line. I could copy this one or I could draw a fresh one across the top. So L, return from endpoint to endpoint and return. And we need to form the gap. In this situation, fillet will help. So that's F, return, pick pick, return, pick, pick. Okay that's the wall nib created. What we need to do now is tidy up on this side. So we'll delete this line, just click this one without a command active and our O snaps will allow us to click the grip at this position, just drag upwards and click the end point here. Press escape to get rid of the grips. Zoom out, you can see where we're at at the moment. Now there's actually four of these, one here, here, here and here. Now there's no need to draw all four, we can use the mirror command to flip them across to the other side and then flip two across down to the bottom. So we use the mirror command and that shortens to MI and I'll use a blue window to capture the three objects there. Press return. Now I've got midpoint added to my object snaps. If it's not there, add it. Right click the object snaps button, go to settings and make sure midpoint's available. Then OK. So the first point in my mirror line is midpoint here my second point could just be in the black space, Ortho is helping me do that, or I could pick another midpoint further down. Select, and we want to retain our objects here, so we answer with just a return key for the question that's in the spacebar. It says, do you want to erase the source objects? We don't, so you press return. OK, zoom in and tidy up this one. In a similar way, so it's fillet, just happens to be placed facing the other direction. Pick, pick, return. Pick, pick. A slightly bigger mending job required here. Select the line individually and press the delete key. Then pick the line just as we did before. Select the grip and take it to the end point there. Escape to get rid of the grips. Okay, then the second mirror 
mi return we can take two batches of objects at the same time this group and this group return your mirror point this mirror line this time you have to be a bit more careful notice these two aren't in line with each other now because that was extended so I'm picking the outside of the outer line drag to the right select again and return and then a bit more practice we'll just tidy up here again so F return return delete drag to extend press escape to get rid of the grips fill it F return pick pick return pick pick select line individually and delete click drag down to mend so that's our access to the courtyards defined what we've got now we've got three openings that go right the way across the middle of the the plan so I need a line to work with so L return from midpoint just drag it through press return the big openings along across the middle they're 1200 millimeters wide so I need to offset half of that so O return 600 return pick the line go up come back to the original go down press escape to stop the offset command pick the middle line and delete it and then we can use the trim command to form the three openings across the middle so TR return grab all these cutters in one go and return and then I'm picking the bits I want to get rid of that's how the trim command works just carefully systematically get rid of those okay now I do have some openings here as well we've got four window openings in those positions the window openings are seven squares wide this our grid is 300 millimeter grid so 7 times 300 is 2 100 what I can do is use the offset command for this so O return 2 1 0 0 return I'm going to take this line and go downwards and take this line and go upwards press escape to stop offset this gives us an opportunity to use a new command here we'll use extend so the command shortens to EX and return and I want you to pick four boundaries one two three four and return and now it's asking us to to pick the line we wish to extend but pick near the end which sets the direction for it pick here pick there pick there and pick there escape to stop the command okay we could use trim again to tidy all this up so TR return capture the middle area of the drawing and return and take away these lines you can speed up trim if you wish by trying to select multiple lines okay press escape when you're finished and then we have a similar repair job to do we can do both sides at the same time pick these four lines and delete them and then I need to extend this line to there and this line to there now this stops a common problem with people's drawings that they that they have multiple line segments all in line with each other uh, it's not what you would do with a drawing board you just take a pencil and go from one end of a line to another you don't stop halfway you don't go from here to here to here to here to here and that's 
kind of bad practice to have lots of small line segments where there really should just be one line. It gets very frustrating for other people looking at your drawings. Right, what I'll do now is zoom in on this area and we'll work on these areas in more detail. So we'll stop the video just there just to make it bearable.